Now to YouTube neighbors. So there are two drivers we ain't seen yet on this channel, uh, Tetsuo Argo Yamauchi and Alberto Flamingo. In order to unlock a driver in Death Road's tournament, you actually have to beat them on the road, which means that you have to luck into them being in the game you're playing in the first place, and that they're not beaten by another driver before you get to encounter them. It's a frustrating process, but I've managed to unlock Tetsuo Art, uh, Argo Yamauchi, and we're going to give them a try today. I've also unlocked the DCM Brawler, a, a vehicle that had two side weapons and no others. I'm fond of it because it reminds me of one of the delivery vehicles from the board game Wasteland Express Delivery Service. But I don't know if the Brawler and Yamauchi play well together, so no promises we see that vehicle today. Today's episode is going to be focused on the driver. So today's showcase vehicles are something a little different. See, the world of Gaslands is such that while Earth is a desolate wasteland, mankind, those of means, have colonized Mars. And there's even high-tech racing there. So, while extraterrestrials are not specified in the lore, one of the sponsors is Supernatural in origin. They're, they're literally Ghost Rider. So, anything goes. To that end, I've envisioned three cars based on Xenomorphs from the Alien franchise. There are various Hot Wheels cars with accessories from the Karn species from the Final Faction series of action figures found exclusively at Dollar Tree. I, I rather enjoyed using hot glue and green glaze for the slime effects. Alright, so one note in this video, um, OBS, for whatever reason, decided to disable the hotkey to mute my mic, so there's a little bit of coughing going on. For that, I apologize. Uh, ironically, uh, I've got a bunch of dust in my lungs from cleaning out my garage, so it, it fits for driving in the wasteland, I suppose. Alright, let's take this new driver out for a spin. Alrighty. We're going to start a new run with our new individual guy, girl, not a percent sure, just going to call him they, Tetsuo Argo Yamaguchi. The enigmatic rebel who reigns supreme on the death roads. He possesses an unparalleled combination of technological prowess and daredevil driving skills that has given him a ticket to the tournament and onto our screens. His iconic headset, a fusion of Eon's tech and his own ingenuity, along with unmatched hacking skills, grants him an advantage on the road. From, seeming, from seamlessly hindering control of rival vehicles to manipulating the very course itself, Argo blurs the lines between man and machine. So it looks like he has... a driver ability that actually lets him push his opponent but at the cost of becoming brittle that's very interesting but his setup card uh, lets him shift gears and go into overdrive and hack.net lets you bash and apply web okay that's neat if you have played a card this turn a card of if you have played a card of each type this turn, gain two overload. Okay, that's that's an interesting gadget. I don't know if that's really feasible, but apparently um, you want to play cards that let you draw other cards and uh, cheap cards, basically. Look at his skid deck, though. This is real interesting. There's only three movement cards in the entire thing. Back, up, and down. So there's no double up and double down. That's that's very nice. That's a beautiful skid deck. Now, half the deck downshifts you, which isn't great, but at least they come with bashes and they don't move you. So, yeah, I really love that skid deck. That kind of lets you play a little bit more aggressively. So here's a new Torchia Olympic that I've recently uh, unlocked. Nothing about it screams, I've really got to try this card now. Where was the, the Brawler, yes. This, well it, it looks like the Wasteland Express delivery vehicle, but it happens to be the post app delivery vehicle, so I guess that makes perfect sense. Um, I don't know that this is the right car for Yamauchi. So in order to get the overload, we have to play four cards. We have to play a weapon card, a movement card, an engine card, 
and a driver card. These are some pretty weak weapons. But, I don't know, this vehicle kind of looks fun. Now, on the other hand, given Yamauchi's stats... Oh, well, this has been reworked. Uh, the, uh, the little monster only has rear weapons now. That's, that's fascinating. Push, push, yeah. <coughs> I really kind of want to try him in the little monster. I, I foresee a lot of shoving enemies into into barriers. Problem is, this vehicle. Let's take a look at our driver cards again. Yeah, this vehicle doesn't have a whole lot in the way of dealing with enemies that are in front of you. We need we need a lot of movement to pull this off. Oh, it actually starts with an accessory. That's interesting. Twenty-five armor. This, is a con this doesn't do a whole lot of, of bash damage anymore. They really changed up the little monster. This is the vehicle I'm thinking of, right? Yeah, it's a monster truck. Man, they have, they have really changed this vehicle. Hmm. Let's take a look at you again. Yeah, I want to try out the brawler. I, I, want, I want to give it a try. Alright, let's figure out where we want to start. Okay, we could do a Mexico run starting with high voltage. That's that's probably the best sponsor. Local Coco's pretty decent. Start in South Los Angeles. Young conglomerate's not terrible. Post staff is worthless. Aztec is pretty good. No, I, I want to try something a little bit different this time. I think I think I want to try the Canada run. I don't think I've ever done that before. Let's begin in the ruins of Seattle. Yeah. Gain one handling each time an enemy vehicle performs skid during your turn. Oh man, now I kind of wish I had the uh, little monster. All right, and we do not have the other new driver in our run. Fix station, fix station, chop shop. Yeah, let's let's swing north. That that uh, that will let me make decisions. All right. Shift up in a second. To a turning point. Aerial Blast, which will limit his ability to attack us this turn. Not ideal, but... Right there. 
really. I don't like any of these. I'm gonna take the wheels for now, though. All right, next fight. Pair of drones. I need to drop back two. I don't really have a whole lot of means of shifting up, which is kind of a problem. Alright, we're going to weak throttle. Now we're going to poke around. Slam you into a wall. And I'm going to stereo blast the two of you. Partly for that reason. And now I'm going to go into a skid. Whoa, what just happened? Oh, the game's still a little buggy, it seems. <laughs> Alright. Let us... Set up. Overdrive, and now I'm gonna smack and web you. And next, I want to run you into a wall. All right, smash and run. Let's keep it up. This is strictly an upgrade. And I believe I like this better than I like the speakers. Rage. Ooh, I like me some rage, though. Let's, let's upgrade our tires. We still need better means of shifting. Ooh, rusty spikes. We'll like to see that. Mm, Ten scrap. All right, let's hit the garage. All right. Rusty scrap. Okay. I don't know where she's turning. I would kind of like to hit this chop shop, though. And fighting her would be a bonus. So let's see. Ah, nah, she's not coming my way. All right. Let's start with a turning point. Shift up. Wait, do I want to poke around yet? Maybe? Alright. Shift 
bash them again. And I kind of want to go into a skid after webbing. All right. Got him down to three handling. Shoved him a couple times. That's cool. Um, let's go into overdrive. Let's shove you into a wall. And I'm pretty sure this is a lethal. Boxer. Yeah, that's uh, that's shifting. Oh, but the buck, 1.2 liter boxer. I think I'm gonna go with. I don't know, this is more shield though. I think I have enough movement though. Yeah, I need shifting. Alright, let's grab this engine. We're gonna give it we're gonna give it a try. Oh, here we go again. There is smoke rising above the road in front of you. As you approach it, you see what looks like a site of a banded ambush with a couple of vehicles still burning. Yada, yada, yada. We've seen this before. Um, I can gain 10 scrap or I can risk it for 40. I'm just going to take 10 scrap. These events are never worth the risk. All right, that's a shotgun buggy. Shift up. Shift up again. Kind of a waste of a poke around, but you know, whatever. Alright, I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna go into a skid. And again. Uh, and then we're gonna put ourselves in front of position to get shot. Oh yeah, we made no progress at all after that skid. At least we didn't downshift though, we're still in third. Oh yeah, shotgun bug is gonna hit me at least twice. Oh no, just once. Awesome. Well that was that was dumb. <laughs> I do want to start off with a drone sabotage, that seems correct. Let's do semi-automatic, we'll go to four, and draw two. Okay. Turbo lag seems good. Before I do that, I'll do a stereo blast. And a hack net. Let's shove him. Oh, I don't get shoved, I get to web him, though. 
All right, so if he wants to get in position to shotgun buggy me, he's going to have to go against the web. Man, I almost want to try. I, I'm out of armor, though, having to get a shotgun to the face. This is risky. Can I look at my drift deck? Yeah, I have two hits downward. This is risky. But it's either I skid myself or he skids me. Oh, oh yeah, we're already off the bad start. Come on, show me up. Up. All right. Okay. That was a <coughs> not great skid, but definitely not a bad one. All right. Do switcheroo. I want to change out you and you. Hmm, not yet. Alright. Shift up. Buckle up. This is lethal. Let's do it. Took a little more damage than expected there, but all in all, not too bad. I'm going to grab the rusty touring wheels. Those are good tires. All right. Now we hit the chop shop. I definitely want to see if there's a weapon in here. Oh, yes, there is. That's a great one, too. Yeah, we're going to buy that. We're going to equip that immediately. I may rejigger my 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 setup here. But if we want to sell some stuff off. Alright. So I can't sell an engine. Let's see. I have no problem selling off these tires. Uh, no problem selling off the speakers. Alright. So I really want to buy this memory card here. I'm happy with my engine, so yeah, let's buy the memory card. I want to increase my hand limit. Alright, that was a good chop shop. An uncharacteristically good chop shop. Well, all my competitions down there are avoiding each other and me. Kind of want to go up to Fargo and hit this uh, fix-it shop. So let's do that. Oh, that's a chop shop. Oh, my bad. There's a fix-it shop very close by, though. Ooh, tight road. This is where I excel. Okay. Well, let's... Up to two, drop back. Do I have lethal and weapons? Eight, ten, eight. So twenty-six, I do. Especially if I overdrive. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Let's go to three.
Hmm. Am I not understanding what overdrive does? Or overload? Oh, it only increases by one. Okay, it's rage that doubles it. Okay, well... I have lethal, but I go into a skid for it. I really only have myself to blame. Alright, let's go up. Go up. 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 Alright. Like I said, only have myself to blame. Oh yeah, I'm about to get shot. Oh no, I'm about to get buzzsawed. That could have been worse. Okay. Well, first things first. I am in too low a gear right now. We're into a weak shift. That up. Let's be in the third. Now we're gonna buckle up. Yeah, I either skid myself or he skids me. So let's let's throw a web on him while I can. Oh man, all my down shifts. Okay. All right, with four handling, he might not be able to do much to me. Okay. Yeah, we can go drone down the line. I'm okay with a turbo lag. And this setup should be all four card types. Really? What am I missing? Anywho, uh, let's shove you into a wall. <laughs> That's a great visual when it's not laggy. Ooh. Oh no, I don't like that. I don't like that random discard. That's plus one bash damage, though. No, I like my engine the way it is. Um, I... I'm gonna collect these tires because they're not getting equipped. I like, I like my current setup as far as engine and wheels go. Alright, so it looks like we can gain 50 scrap and start a battle or to avoid the battle. I'm gonna avoid the battle. Alright, a lot to not like here already. Do here. Shift up to two. Shift up to three. I'm gonna shift up to five. All right, let's poke around. And start uh, dominoing some dudes. Let's do it again. All right, and this should send me backwards without hopeful, hopefully without uh, hitting too hard in the in the top wall. Nah, I was kind of hoping maybe get one more bash in first, but it's all right. And now I'm behind him. It's not a bad position to be in, especially with this one's handling limited. It's a lot of condition and uh, condition damage from bashing with a buggy.
shift up and overload. Let's do all out shot. Keep shot. Is this still lethal? Okay, it is. Good. Four and skin. Hmm? Ah. Wow. All right, so I'm I'm down to one after all that skidding, but you know, not unexpected. Game, I'm not positioned to send them into the death road. I'm taking a lot of damage this fight. A lot more than I anticipated. Well, I mean, he just killed himself, though, so... It also frees him up now to... to wield a death moves. Yeah, it's basically free range on his weapons now. Alright. But I can do the same. Drone Sabotage. Let's shift up to second and draw two cards. Alright, shift up shift up to third. Dang. Not what I was hoping for. I guess. I guess we just buckle up and see where the skid takes us. <coughs> well, that didn't work out. The road's more narrow now, and that's where I excel. Man, I'm taking a lot of damage this fight. Good night. Okay. Well. Get up to three. Gonna poke around and shove you into a wall. And I'm gonna shove you into a wall for lethal. But man, the damage was done. I took... I took an insane amount of damage that fight. I lose some armor. But yeah, let's let's do this engine. Okay. Chop shot. I have 50 scrap. Let's let's just see what's in the in the junk. No, thank you. And some scrap. Okay. So I need to make I need to make my way to a fixed station now, and that is right here. So I got a fight in an event. I just need to survive the next fight. City of the Woods. Oh no. <sighs> okay. So yeah, that's on the road right now. That's worth pointing out. Okay. Shift up to two. Wow, this is not great. Do I have to reroute here? I 
I do. I need to shift up to third. I'm gonna you out of my way. I'm gonna shove you into the wall. I do not have lethal. See what I can do with a spear. Oh, nothing. <laughs> well, maybe I still have a bash up, but no, nothing. Good news is I have put some distance between me and Carmen Mint here. Now, that doesn't matter if they draw exactly what they need to draw, though, because the range on their weapon is insane. Okay. should be lethal here. Okay. What's my plan for Carmen Mint? I think right now my best plan is to hit him for condition damage. Web him. Bring him down to three so he can't use his weapon. And we'll drone protection. And I will skip. <coughs> Dang. I didn't want to go back. I wanted to I wanted to see if I could get him to move. Okay. Ooh. Adjacent to me. Okay. Pay attention. My turn? Alright. I can kill Carmen off right now. Let's see. Reroute. In the simple turn, come up to three, come down here. And I am just gonna chill at three handling. I have to do is I've got to get up the floor. Okay. I am going to do 10 condition damage, so he's essentially stunned in that turn. Unless I have lethal. 13. Oh, oh, I have lethal. Forget that. Uh, I, I forgot this van has weapons. <laughs> Alright, we got through that fight pretty good, I think. Hulk or Bulk? Hmm. Interesting. The elegance and simplicity of this engine, but no. <coughs> the 
very nice defensive engine, but I like the aggression in my beta inline. Let's take this. I'm going to collect it. I don't need to add another card to my already bloated deck. Auto Parts Warehouse. That's a pre-amplifier. Condition handling damage from collisions with barriers is reduced by 50. Ooh, okay. Where's, where's that been all my life? Come across a large, partially class building with a large neon sign that reads Auto Parts Warehouse. The building appears to have been abandoned for some time. But upon closer inspection, you notice thick metal doors still intact. Who knows what treasures might be hiding inside. Uh, I'm just going to take a 25% chance to, to take it. Uh, I did, did I get it? I, didn't, I, I did not get it. That's fine. I also didn't take any damage going into the fix station, which I'm going to do right now. Well, there went all my money. That's Death Roads. All right, we're at the 40 minute mark now. Let's, let's get to Grimville in this episode, and then next episode, we can, we can, we can finish it out. So, I can either gain 10 health and start a battle, or lose 10 health and gain a component. Well, I can't really gain 10 health, and then I'm going to lose it in the battle, so we'll just go ahead and lose it now. Ooh, more spikes. That's not bad. Yeah, I'm gonna get some more spikes. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna skip this event. The best events in this game are the ones you can skip, it seems. <coughs> hmm, what's the play? You do condition damage. I don't care about you. I need to deal with the rocket jumper. Alright. I need to... Shift up. Alright. I'm going to skip the backward bash to move to... And I'm going to play this one defensively. And then I'm going to shove you down. You know what? I'm going to go up to three and I'm going to skid. I'm going to take a gamble here that I don't go up. Well, my gamble's not paying off so far. Yeah. That's, that could have been worse. You don't do condition damage, you do handling damage primarily. Which is fine. Hit me again. Dang. Whoa! 25 damage? How did you pull that off? Good God. I have never seen that card before. And yeah, now he's rocket jumped. Alright, well... This ain't great for me. Um, this ain't great at all. Set up. I'm one gear shy from being able to do anything interesting. So I think I have to drop back. Alright. I'm going to do an all out shot. 
And I'm gonna hit him with some web, and I'm gonna skid. Alright, don't hit him again. Oh, man! Okay, so now he's gonna skid. Which is not ideal. Unless, of course, we were to skid to the wall. That'd have been great, but... What's he gonna do? Don't tell me you have that 25 damage weapon again. for another rocket jump. No, he's just gonna hit me with some shrapnel, apparently. Alright. Um... I am just going to shift up. I'm gonna shift up to third. I'm gonna start slamming Mr. Rocket Jumper into the barrier. Alright, can I do it again? Not really. Okay. I can maybe... I can send him into a skid. Alright. Let's send you into the barrier again, and then let's see what the skid does. Of course. Okay. Well, let's see what my skid does. Okay. Well, I can't hit you again. Dang. He lives at three. <coughs> Excuse me. Take him out with a cheap shot. Now, can I do anything about you? I don't think I can. That's a web grinder. Do a drone savage. Hold on, hold on. Do I have lethal with anything else? No. Alright, drone sabotage. And this should be lethal with the hack net. Oh, that was a lot of damage taken in that fight. Wow. Okay. I think I'm going to take these wheels, actually. Alright. We got the fixed station. We have to uh, go to the fixed station, spend everything we have to not heal the full. Alright. We actually may not make it this time. Ah, uh, lose all scrap. Well, I have no scrap, so haha, <laughs> you're foiled. Okay. Hmm. How do I want to do this? I okay. I have way too many weapon cards. I need that's. That's the mistake I made in this run. That is what is going to cause me to lose the run, because my deck is bloated. Right. 
I should have lethal on this drone. this drone anytime we can take out an opponent on turn one is good for us and yeah there's, there's no point in me playing any cards I'm probably going to go into a skid but as far as I can as far as I, I see it skidding right now is all upside to me. Three. I want to get rid of you and you. All right, let's domino some dudes. down to gear one. Nothing I can do about that. Alright, well that opens up some options. Not not if I skid up and down. Up and back though. Okay. Well, I mean, they might actually skid this. Well, I was about to say, they might actually skid themselves to death, but no, I'm not that lucky. Handling and shoot me now. Alright. Let's see. What is the play? I shift up to two. That gives me nothing. Not great. Shift up to two. Take him out at the risk of killing myself. Do not go up. Okay. Alright, run him into the wall. And then one more wall hit. And we're gonna limp into the next fight with very little hit points.
I think we're I think we're best off switching out to this engine. We need movement both ways. All right. If we can survive this next fight, we should be able to limp into a, a fixed station and get a little bit of healing. But I want to. Yeah, I want to get rid of this weapon, even though that's, even though we now have no armor. That that's what I'm I'm now realizing is the biggest drawback of this vehicle is no armor. All right, our deck is more efficient now. Oh boy. All right. So I need to get behind him if I can. You are the shotgun buggy. Okay, you're all known entities. I just have to I just have to execute. All right, let's see what I can do. some dudes. Now we're going to do it twice more. That was almost lethal. And then he's going to slam into me. Yeah, that's lethal. Unfortunately, I can't go up again, which would be ideal. But I can definitely hit the wall twice. Okay. Uh, so now I'm pretty much flashing my butt to the shotgun buggy right here, which is probably, yep, that is the end of my run. So, mistakes were made, lessons were learned. Yamauchi is an interesting driver. I really love his skid deck. His, her, it, I really love their skid deck. He, they might actually be my new favorite driver. As, as, as much as I have a favorite driver in this game. <laughs> well, thank you for joining me. Uh, I was expecting this to be a two-parter, and we died early. So, uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna try and unlock the last driver we're missing. Uh, somebody flamingo. I forget his name. And we will. Uh, uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>